This week, I thought it'd be fun to draw a crown because in Come Follow Me, we are talking about Queen Esther. And Queen Esther is a person who was asked to do some very difficult things as queen. But she was brave. She listened to Heavenly Father. She served her family. And she did all the things that were asked of her, even though it was very, very difficult. And in our own lives, we are asked to do very difficult things. But we don't have to do it alone. We have friends and family that can fast and pray for us and give us encouragement. And that's where we're going to talk about today is we draw this picture of Queen Esther's crown. Let's go. All right, so let's go ahead and start drawing Esther's crown. I'm gonna start by taking my black marker. You can use crayons or colored pencils or paint or however you like to do your art. But to start this crown, I'm gonna go somewhere close to the bottom of the page and I'm gonna draw, I don't wanna go all the way to the side, but maybe somewhere close and just put a dot there. And that's gonna represent one side of the crown and this is how long I want it to be. So then I can go all the way to the other side and I can put another dot. And then that is how long my crown is gonna be. And then I can start from one dot and go to the other side because this gives me a good path to follow to get to the other side of my crown. All right, so that's the bottom. That's the part that touches your forehead. And now we're gonna go up and we can draw two dots that line up with these ones. And we're gonna create kind of like a band for our crown. So we can draw lines up to those dots. And then we can go across and we can connect it right up here, just like we did with the one on the bottom. Now, one of the real fun things about crowns is I don't think I've ever seen two that look exactly alike. So I think one of the really fun things about this art is you can make your crown look like whatever you like. You can follow mine exactly if you want to, or you can do your own. You can add some of your own jewels or put a different number of spikes on them. However you'd like to, you can decorate it, or you can follow along with me and we can have a lot of fun doing that too. So one thing that might help you while you're creating your crown is because maybe you don't want to go too far up the page or over this way is you can put little dots up here where you want the peaks of the different parts of your crown to be. So I'm going to do a few of those. I'm going to start by putting one right here. And then I can put another one down here, down lower. And then it kind of creates kind of like a dot to dot thing where I can start here and I can draw to this line and then I can draw to this line. And that's one way that you can do to help you to get stuff maybe where you want it to be. Another thing you could do is you can take this dot and you could put another one next to it a little ways like this. And maybe you could just create a big loop or something that connects those two dots together. So this one, I'm going to go like that. You can see I kind of created a little loop there. You can see we're starting to create like a little crown here, right? And maybe we can do another one of those zigzag ones where I put a dot here and a dot here. And I just connect those. And you can have different numbers of these. Sometimes in the crown, they have some part that looks really special in the middle, maybe more special than other parts. And sometimes they don't. Sometimes it just maybe zigzags all the way across. You can do it however you want. But if you want to create a bigger space, you could go over here and just go out further and put a dot. And if you want to do a zigzag, you could put a dot here or just do a, you know, a bigger loop or something like that. So like this one. And then do a few more here. You can see I'll, I'll, I'll just do a couple more. I'm going to do like a zigzag one here. And then maybe another loop one to match my other side. I missed my dot a little bit, but that's okay. And then we're gonna do another dot up here. And we'll go like this, and then we'll go all the way back down here. Now we've connected it on both sides. So now I have this really cool looking crown, and I can decorate this now with jewels or whatever pretty things I want to. 
because I'm pretty sure, you know, queens, a lot of times they played a special role. And this kind of, sometimes they would symbolize different things or they would mean different things to different people and, and show kind of the role that they had in their lives. Just like sometimes you see a fireman wearing a fireman hat. Then you know what role they do, that there's somebody that goes and helps put out fires. Well, queens, they wanted to say, well, this is the queen so that everybody knew. So they would make these really beautiful crowns for them because this represented the job that they did, just like Esther had a very important job to do. So let's go ahead and let's add some jewels to this. You can use whatever shapes you like. You can do some of the ones that I'm doing or pick some of your own. I think up here in this top part, I'm going to just draw a really big circle just for decoration that I think would be really fun. So I've got this circle in here. And maybe to create different kinds of gems, there's lots of different shapes. You can have squares. You can have diamonds. You can have circle ones. I think I want to just put a big diamond up here and here, a big diamond shape. You can draw whatever shapes you like. So I think that's fun. And then we can put some jewels maybe in some of these other ones. Or you can make a pattern with them. You could do a whole bunch of them or just a few of them. This is your crown. You could imagine what it would be like for you to be Esther. Because she was asked to do some really hard things being queen. And I think all jobs and all the things that we have to do in our life, there's sometimes things that are hard. You know, sometimes we have to go to school and do things and they're hard. Or sometimes we're asked to do things in our family that are hard but we can be brave like Esther. And I think I want to put some jewels down in this part too, I think would be fun. Maybe I'll do an oval, or I could do some squares. There's all kinds of different jewels. A fun way to kind of make some types of jewels or make gems is you can take the shape that you already have on the outside and you can draw it again in the middle like this. You can see that I just made a smaller version of this. And then you can connect the corners with lines, just like that. And you can see how that looks like a gem, right? And that can be really fun. So I'm going to just do a couple more on this side. And then let's do another one, just like this one. I can draw a shape inside of it. And then I can connect those corners. I really can't wait to see what you guys did with your crowns. And then maybe I'll put a really big one right here in the middle. All right, so that's my crown. Now I'm going to go ahead and start coloring this. All right, I think I want to make my crown look golden. So I'm going to get my yellow marker and I'm going to just start filling all of this in with this yellow. And then maybe we can do some things to maybe even look at make it look shiny. To make it look shiny, we can color parts of it yellow and then maybe leave other parts white and then maybe pick some orange or some other colors. Because when you look at gold, when it goes in the light and you turn it different directions, it actually shines different colors or shows different colors of yellows and browns and oranges. So I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to like maybe start over here and do some yellow and just kind of fill that in. And when I'm done with the yellow, I can pick another color, like maybe I can take this orange here. But maybe I'll just leave this part right here white. And sometimes I like to go the same angle and make sure I don't color in where my jewels are. Because for me, I want to make these jewels a different color. You can just start feeling that in and make your pretty golden crown. I'm going to go back and I'm just going to use my yellow again. And start feeling some of that in. And why we're coloring this, we can think about some of the hard things that Esther was asked to do. She was asked to go to the king. So there was a man at the time named Haman who told the king that they should make a law, that everybody should have to bow down and worship their god. But that wasn't good for the Jewish people and their family, and they said if they didn't do it, that they would kill them. 
And so that means that they would kill Esther and her family if they didn't do that. So Esther had to do something really brave, which was to go talk to the king. And at the time, there was a rule that she wasn't supposed to talk to the king. But she did it anyway. I'm going to pick some more yellow here. And I think that shows her great faith. And I think one of the neat things is all of us are asked to do things that are difficult to do. And we have our own roles to play. Sometimes we're sisters or brothers or things that we have to do in school and we have to do on, on our own. But other people can help us. And so Esther's family and her friends, they prayed for her. And they also gave her encouragement. And they even fasted for a few days for her so that when she went to talk to the king, that she would have help from God that she needed. And when we are brave and we do what the Lord commands us, he does help us just like he helped Esther. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to color this band. It might be fun to do it a different color. I think I'm going to do mine pink. So I'm just going to fill this all in. And so sometimes I wonder what things you guys are asked to do, because I know that everybody is asked to do hard things from time to time. And sometimes they're only things that we can do. Sometimes it's as simple as it's our bedroom. Or maybe we can do things like help friends to choose the right. There can be all kinds of challenges or hard things or even things that make us scared that we have to do. But our Heavenly Father can bless us when we follow him. And we can also ask for other people to help us. And we can also be like Esther's family and we can pray for people. So now let's go ahead and we can color in some of these gems. I think I want to do some of them blue. There's so many different beautiful colors of jewels. I've seen green ones and yellow ones, red. So you can do these whatever color you like. I'm going to do a pink one right here. And then we'll do maybe some green ones, like emeralds. And then we can maybe do some more green ones down here. Or you can do them all the same colors if you like, if you have a favorite color. Because this is your crown, and you can make this the way you want it. And something that I was thinking that might be really fun to do is when you have this all colored out, maybe you could get an adult to help you, and you could cut out your crown. And after you cut out the crown, you can make a little paper headband or something, and you could wear it. And that could be something fun to do with maybe your friends or your family. All right, I'm going to do some orange right there. And then maybe do a few purple ones. Oh, look at those pretty dark purple. I feel like that looks good with the pink. Maybe I like it so much I'll just fill in this circle up here purple too. All right, I'm finished coloring this now. I can't wait to see some of the stuff that you've done. This is my finished Esther crown. I want to show you some that some other kids did. And as you can see, each one of these looks very different, and they used different colors. Right here, you have this purple one, which is a very royalty color. I like this one because it's all the colors of the rainbow. And I like that they used different colored gems right here. You can see there's some hearts on here. So you can see that everybody can use different shapes for their gems. None of these have to look the same, and I don't think they should be. And you can see, like, look at this one. This one's all yellow and it has these beautiful stars in the middle. They didn't do a lot of gems, and that's okay, too. I think it looks really pretty just like this. And then you have this beautiful band on here. So all of these are really great examples. 
and they can help remind us of the story of Esther and the hard things that she had to do. And I think that's an important story because in our own lives, we are asked to do things that are very difficult sometimes, but we don't always have to do it by ourselves. We have Heavenly Father to help us and our friends and our family, they can help us because they can pray for us, they can fast for us, and they can even give us encouragement and teach us things to make it easier so we don't have to do it on our own, just like Esther. So I had a lot of fun drawing these crowns with you. They all look beautiful. I would love to see what kinds of things that you made, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.